making you meet our yesterday greatest one of our greatest Monday it's right here right now on ZBC TV and our guest for today is a Caps United Black S Blackpool Dynamos in the national teams Bay goalkeeper yes I have Ernest Dada Chiramba Dada right here on Living Legends proudly brought to you by Maramba Warera crunchy cookies from Proton they come in 250 grams 500 grams 1 kg and 2 kg you can find them in any retail that is available near you yes I have Ernest Viga Brasta. Check out me that day. I am a blessing. Good. Thank you so <laughs> yes. much for coming to, to the you. show. Uh, thank you kindly. Thank ah, you kindly. Nice. It's a pleasure to be here. Ah, nice. Yeah. So, um, most, of, mo most of the people out there know you as Dara. Right. Maybe just a brief, brief breakout about yourself. Right. Um, growing up, grew up in a family of seven, five boys, two girls. Um, the fifth though. Uh, out of the seven so yeah um, went to school just like uh, any other child of our era uh, different primary schools and um, um, got exposed to uh, football at a young age just to uh, watching and hearing others talk about it and actually um, playing as, as youths uh, we called it Chukweshe then yeah, so yeah basically that is the beginning of, um, of my um, my life but my brother set the pace the precedence mm -hmm. where we um, where I ended up following in their footsteps mm -hmm. you see. so I'm glad I had brothers nice older brothers nice so yeah. I understand that uh, NS played for Caps United right at Dynamos mm -hmm. Blake Asses Blackpool and the national team just take us through the journey of your career well, the, the first team that I actually played for was Blue Line Aces, which later on uh, became Blake Aces. Um, that is in the Premier League, but in the lower league that I played for a lot of clubs uh, as well. Um, some of them are known. Um, there were lots of divisions then, I think after Division 6 or so. So I, I played in all divisions except Division 1. When I actually went for trials with uh, Blue Line Aces then in 87, I was uh, doing my O levels at Lord Malvern. And uh, we went as a group of us from Lokinva. And uh, we were mostly brothers, me and my brother, and the other one, my brother. I think we were about five uh, sets of uh, brothers. And uh, after the initial. Um, uh, trials uh, me and my brother and uh, another friend of ours uh, uh, Lawrence Chapungama we asked to, to come back yes. and, and from then on the rest is history yeah so Dara where did the nickname come from well uh, as far as I can recall uh, because you see when we were growing up nicknames were given to someone you didn't <laughs> give yourself a nickname mm -hmm. so it so happens that uh, I started playing uh, in senior 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 teams at a young age, mm. so it was uh, fitting that I was named Dara because I was actually playing with uh, uh, then would consider very old guys mm -hmm. or old players. Like my brother Stan, you know, with a ten-year difference, mm -hmm. so that was the the uh, the age uh, that uh, the age group that I was playing the against. Paruza, yeah. Paruza, mm -hmm. Yes, against. You know, when Paruza, we're playing against. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. now, we're playing against them, and those are those were legends that I I was uh, listening to on the radios when I was going to school and having to play um, with them and uh, against them was an honor. Yes, so basically that is um, that is it. Yeah. Mm. yeah All yeah. right. So I, I, I'm looking at it. 1999. That's when you decide to to leave Dynamos. Why did you left there? I left Dynamos twice. 90 end of 92. Uh, a bit of factions were happening in Dynamos, and there was a split in the in, the, in Dynamos, and there were two factions. There was a United Dynamos and then FC, the FC remained. Mm -hmm. So since I was young, I inevitably followed my brother who was with the United, with the senior 
senior senior senior um, senior players with the gift in Paris was Henry Chari, um, Charles Sheer was uh, you name them, you know them, Angrai Chapo, Edward Kachere, these these legendary legends. Mm -hmm. Um so I, I gravitated towards the, the their side um because I had only just come into Dynamos from Blue Line Aces. So uh, inevitably followed my brother, and um, uh, when the dust settled, uh, the FC remained FC, and the United got disbanded. So uh, for '93, I never played football in Zimbabwe because Dynamos did not want to sell me, and they, they didn't want me to train with them either. So no. I was caught in a fix. So I actually spent some time training with Darren T. So I can say Grabowski looked after me for quite a long time. He wanted to take me to Europe and he was always trying to get Dynamos to release me or sell me to to him and but it never materialized because Dynamos um they uh, I don't know, they were doing it for uh, you know, in spite you know, spite, mm -hmm. spite me, you know, uh because I had moved um to to the United FC with my brother and uh, they were trying to get back at me because my brother had re retired then mm -hmm. so they couldn't get back at him so this is my personal view of, of the whole situation mm -hmm. so yeah Grabowski looked after me and uh, 93 the whole of 93 I never played football mm -hmm. I actually spent a few months in South Africa just uh, I trained with Morocco Swallows and uh, a lot of people thought I played for certain clubs I just went there just to get away from the whole Training to stay fit. Train to train to stay fit and just getting away from all the pressure and what was mm -hmm. going on. And I was young. I was 21, 22 then. Mm -hmm. Didn't have uh, advisors or managers or you name them. So it was all my decisions. I had to. Or we had to look after ourselves. So I, I went there, uh, hoping that I would just get a free, uh, clear conscience and mm -hmm. come back, uh, you know, on a different note. So. Fortunately for me, Blackpool was from 94. Oh, yeah, yeah, life. Will. Yes, I am. <laughs> Dara Ennis Chilambadari right here, right now. Our very own goalkeeper in Zimbabwe. Join us after this short break. second segment of living legends and thank you so much for the continued support from our viewers our fans and proton our proud sponsors right here right now on living legends uh -huh. yes i have dara enes chirambadari our very own goalkeeper in zimbabwe uh enes i'm i'm looking at it. 29 years you decided to quit football and you broke the hearts of many knowing that most of you guys can take it up to 35 why did you decide to leave the country at the age of 29 well yes i did leave the country but i did not decide to uh, retire as it were it was uh, uh, it was a decision I had made to go to Europe for a few few weeks because of the power angles again that was going on in Dynamos because uh, we had come from the Champions League in 1998 and um, after the, that, uh, that, 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 that that match in uh, Abidjan um, we were accused of having had sold out uh, sold out the games yeah so that, yeah in mm, ivory okay in ivory course yes mm -hmm. so um we were i think nine of us who were accused and we actually fined for protesting or for asking why you know it was uh you know it was it was done that way so we will find uh, lots of money uh, from the little that we got from the final uh, so um uh, there was a lot of pressure going on, you know, and uh, we had been offered to play in the group stages in the following year, having not have won the league, just because of our appearance in the finals of the previous year, we were given a bye mm -hmm. to play in the group stages. So we did play, but we, I think, we were the, we were the bottom team in, in our group, and because uh, we didn't have that 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 drive anymore because of what had transpired. Mm -hmm. in 1998 so so I was thinking um, like I always used to do because we didn't have managers or advisors it was all back to the self so I thought I would just take a retreat to, to England 
and uh, relax for a few weeks before coming back to start pre-season training with the because I had made my mind that I was going to go play for Highlanders you see um, yeah, I nearly joined Highlanders before in 94 I don't think many Highlanders fans know it but uh, uh, we're working on it and then Blackpool was formed and then obviously Blackpool was a more um, a, a appealing uh, project because it was a new thing starting from scratch and it was you know it was it was nice being part of it so yeah uh, I decided to come back to I, I, that was my intention to come back and go play for Highlanders mm -hmm. but uh, circumstances would uh, have me uh, <laughs> um, I ended up staying in the UK for 13 years all right so this is a chance data um, to tell us uh, what really happened at Ivory Coast and why do you think the fans would accuse legends like you of selling the game? I don't think it's the fans. You see, the fans only re re reacted or responded to what they had heard in the papers, what our officials had said to them. So they had no choice but to believe them because they are the ones who are closer to us. But uh, it, was, it wasn't it was the truth. of uh, They were trying to hide what really happened because uh, in my view and the other if you were to ask other uh, players like Chamu and Memory and the others who were there they would tell you um, not the exact the same thing but basically something close to the to, 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 to what I, I, I'm about to say mm -hmm. is that uh, you see we lost our captain before in the pre warm up right and there were thousands of spectators and you had cameras from all over this is the final of the Africa, uh, uh, African, Afri the African Champions League. Mm -hmm. So our captain was head butted uh, in front of eyewitnesses, cameras, you moving, moving motion pictures and all. But um, they didn't talk of, of that or, 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 or actually uh, send a complaint to CAF. You know, because our feeling was we should have been awarded that trophy without even having kicked the ball because our captain was manhandled and he actually had to watch the game from the hospital you see so we had lost our captain before going into the match and the atmosphere was just too tense and uh, a, lot, a lot of our players were affected by it you see you, like a sheep without a captain as they would say mm -hmm. you know so yeah it was very hard to to uh, gather the minds of the of, 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 of the players so anyway, um, they they decided to to divert the truth and claim that we had sold out, sold the game. You see, because they knew that they should have done the other, <clears throat> the, 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 they should have been on our side because we had lost the captain and we should have been told not to walk onto the pitch. You see, so they 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 tricked the people into believing that we had sold out, and uh, if we had sold out, um, they should have had um, uh, um, what do you call it, um, the evidence. You see, because it was just conjecture; they mm -hmm. were just uh, assuming. So we we I, I especially I myself I didn't take it uh, lightly. That's why I decided. After that, Dynamos was not for me because the same thing that had happened in 92 was coming back again. So I thought I needed to... I hear you were also injured during the time. Yes, I did. I was injured, yes. Uh, I think in the first goal, it was it was meant to be a free kick. Mm -hmm. And the referee, we actually protested. Uh, but uh, because it was our first time being in these tournaments, we had not, no clue whatsoever what was going on and whether the refs were, were biased or they had been bribed. That was the feeling because uh, he had an open foot towards me, uh, Kole Tore, the, the one who, uh, the Yaya Tore's brother, <clears throat> is the one who, who came with his uh, open foot and um, he actually hit me on the shoulder and um, I had to be taken out because the time that I had, that, that, that had, that had been taken to, to uh, treat me was found to be a lot so the referee decided that I should be uh, taken out so I came out and um, was a sad thing really uh, because uh, we thought we, we had a chance 
you see, because we had played the nil all <coughs> draw here <coughs> and went there with uh, every chance that we had and uh, um, everything just went uh, and uh, it wasn't the, the situation was, was compelled made worse by our officials mm -hmm. who accused us of selling the game <coughs> all right so do you think it's all right we'll talk about this just after the break directors are complaining now yes i have data and a Ernest Chirambadari right here right now on Living Legends proudly brought to you by Proton Bakers from Arondela join us after this short break. Last and final segment of Living Legends. I know time is not always on our side. Which English cafe say to tell me about Tangakumanya? But thank you so much for the continued support. Proton Bakers from Arondira, we salute you and we love you so much. To our fans out there, thank you so much for the continued support. Right here, I have Ernest Dara Chirambadari, our very finest goalkeeper from way back. Um, all right, we just just a quick one. Do you think this incident affected you in any, affected your career in any way? Well. Since you asked me the question earlier on that uh, why did I decide to quit football? Yeah, in, in that instance, yes, it affected my having to go away, uh, thinking I would be going for uh, uh, recuperation, as it were, and then come back and then continue. And this so happened, I stayed over there. I, I'm not regretting having gone there because I came back a better, wiser person, you see, mm -hmm. uh, knowing myself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided to come back home. So yeah, in that in, in that in that aspect, yes, uh, it affected me in that sense only. Not that uh, I would let anything affect me. If I felt uh, I'd been affected, was heavy. You know, being a goalkeeper, if if your mind is not right, you are not just goalkeeper, but if you are a player, if your mind is not right, you cannot perform to your optimum. So um, I, I think I had, uh, I was now a bit more experienced now, although I was called young, but I was now a bit more experienced. I knew what it took or you know uh, mm -hmm. to be to be in goals for for big clubs like uh, dynamos and uh, the other ones you've just mentioned yeah so i hear that uh abroad you and they suffer treason you heard now you're going to hear <laughs> you see uh, people have their own ways of uh, saying things so uh just because everyone else were, who was there or who went there went through that I never did. Those who who know me, who were up there, they can verify this. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to do it then, and I never did it. Um, but to me, uh, I don't have that heart because you have to have that heart, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I wasn't doing it for the money then because uh, I always felt I was going to come back home. Since since the, the day I left and got to the UK. I was always confident or I believed that every that the coming year I will be back home. Mm -hmm. I will be going back home. So for 13 years I'll be saying next year it will turn Gumba. Mm -hmm. Or this year I paid. Mm -hmm. But somehow and 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 you have uh, other players like I always uh, talk to memory in Chira or uh, you know going to the guru with Chamu and the other players. They are saying the same things every year. He tells me, "Ah, Gorena, I pay. Ah, last this year, fifty years, fifty years younger. I pay fifty years in Rukuno, no. mm -hmm. but it's now he's now fifty-one. Mm -hmm. He's still there, mm -hmm. and Gorena to pay. Gorena to pay. So uh, uh, it's a it's a vicious circle whereby you know it's a, it's, a, it's, it's 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 tough, it's tough out there. Mm -hmm. All know. right, so. Yeah. Um, uh back to reality now you came back home and you decided to settle in marondera uh and i understand that you you founded the school called gavi yes yeah and um research says that you you, you got the inspiration from marcus gavi uh, right. a jamaican right. activist of a treasure right. and how far are you now uh, it is all all that you have said is true. Only that uh, uh, Mark, the Honorable Marcus Gav would not call himself Jamaican. <laughs> he called himself African. Uh. You see. Yes, uh, the inspiration came from from him mm -hmm. um, uh, because he his teachings or his philosophies are self reliance, self awareness, self self determination, mm -hmm. and self consciousness. So it, it had to do with the self. You know, he would ask questions like, why is it that every other race 
uh, is above you. Mm-hmm. You see, you see, you ask, say, ask, ask yourself selves that question. Mm-hmm. Why is it that no matter where you find yourself uh, with the, especially the European at that time, because at the time he was he was living 1887 to 1940, there was a racial tension going on in America and all over the world, black and white as it were, or white against the black. Mm-hmm. So you would um, ask, uh, say, ask yourselves why, no matter where you find yourself uh, cohabiting with the uh, European, you're always under him, mm-hmm. no matter where you find. All right, so Proton sent me to NH Rambadara and it's not legend, said we are in energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Proton. Thank you very much. Thank you to you too. All right, thank you so much for coming through to the show. All right, that was Ernest Dara Chirambadari right here, right now on Living Legends, proudly brought to you by Proton Bakers, Marambore, and Crunchy Cookies. Unfortunately, we have to love you and leave you, but do not despair because next week we make again same time, same place with another legend. So if you have views and comments, or you think you're Living Legend and you want us to pay a visit, do not hesitate. Feel free to contact us on the number that is appearing on the screen right now. So from myself, Marceline, we Kabonda Magara, the Living Legends crew that made this show possible today, we say go warriors. Oh, my God.